Kia ora, good evening and welcome to 8 Minutes. Tonight, the ever-changing world of cell phone communications. From sending emails to watching movies, both the cell phone and society have come a long way in the last three decades. Tonight, we take a look at the evolution of the converging mobile phone. The world has become obsessed with cell phones. Everywhere you look, someone has a phone out, texting, calling or playing games. Eight Minutes spoke with cell phone users to find out exactly what their phone means to them. My first phone was the Vodafone Alcatel. It was one of the first out on the market and I was actually, all my friends had cell phones but I was kind of like six months behind. My first phone, I didn't get one until I was probably the oldest in the class. And so I ended up getting the cheapest phone possible for Christmas and it was terrible and it was actually an embarrassment to have as a cell phone. Uh, well my first phone was the uh, Nokia 2280 which was the old uh, clone phone, it was pretty much indestructible. My first cell phone was politely called the brick uh, by my wife and myself. It was about two bricks put together, weighed about the same. Well my first phone was a little silver one, it, it was a flip top and all my friends had it. The first cell phones were used in England in 1969 and mainly as a trial and it was £250 a month which allowing for inflation would probably be about a thousand dollars a month today. So we all had the basics back then, what is it we're connected to now? The features it has obviously the cell phone and texting capability, it has an iPod and a camera. What have we got, a torch, a dog whistler? Um, a ruler, a counter, a level, it's actually got a level. Contacts, phone, texting, I use it for storyboarding, I use the camera on it, I use it for listening to podcasts a lot. My cell phone, alas, is the most basic model. Uh, all it does is text and phone. Um, it has Google Maps, it has, you can download games and all these other applications for it as well, so I mean it has a lot of stuff. The iPhone itself has a video player as well. Uh, and then you want one with all singing and dancing. Not only do you want to be able to answer a call and make a call with your <coughs> uh, in the car moving around, but you would also like to see if there's any email coming in. Or maybe you'd even like to look at the TV station or catch up on the news. So the equipment develops and provides more services and it costs more money. Virtually anything you can think of, like someone would have thought a way to chuck it onto your iPhone. The size has gone down, the functionalities skyrocketed, the speed of it. I don't really care about gadgety phones. Just wanting the fact that I have like a cell phone and an iPod in the same sort of, in the same one item is just fantastic really. With all these flash new devices at our fingertips, how are they affecting our lives? Uh, my cell phone is very, very essential. I mean, it is my main means of communication. It also keeps my, it's like a diary at the same time, you know. And the cell phone has become a way of extending the links for families between each other. It's also become really valuable for um, extended family and being able to keep in touch with wider family when families are often spread out. Well I think it's making families possibly more connected um, and we're able to talk to people across the world or even next door without actually having to move. Whether that's a good thing I'm not sure. It is indeed the most practical way of communicating. It's the easiest, it's the quickest. I think we're a little bit too dependent on cell phones as a society. Um, especially it's noticeable with the recent change in the law of texting and driving because so many people kicked up a fuss about it because they couldn't bear to sit still for a moment while driving. Texting is interesting. I suspect most of texting is banal, boring, why bother doing it? But then again, it's probably no different than hanging on the phone was for my generation. I think it's sort of withdrawn people a fair bit. Um, because they, they don't really need to call up or go around to see someone, they can just send them a text. You need cell phones obviously to keep in contact with people and to meet people in certain spots. 
and yeah, for a lot of people that works, that's fine. So yeah, I think I think we've got the balance just right, but I mean there are extremes at both ends. You know, cell phones are becoming increasingly technologically advanced. We're sort of seeing maybe social relations suffer, I don't know. So I don't see anything wrong with having that communication, I think it's positive, but I think you need to be able to manage it on a personal level. There's always someone sitting in the corner on their cell phone. <laughs> Isolating society or not, the evolution of the cell phone is set to continue. But where to? I think kind of the next level will probably be the cell phone uh, working with other devices and more, I think more so with the internet will be a, a big thing. Things like little micro projectors inside them, that's probably, it's probably quite a way down the track, but that sort of thing we will see. The cell phones are just going to be amazing in maybe 10 years time. This will replace the laptop to some extent that you will have access to everything on this. You could have a more integration with your cell phone, your TV and other devices. So I think that's going to be the future. This problem of, you know, how do we get everyone access to a computer? Well, as these become more and more like a computer, then we will get access for everybody to computing. You know, so many of them have got web browsers built in now. I still think a dedicated product will give a better experience for the customer. Um, but I think if someone has a need to have something that's all in one that does everything, fair enough but they do need to be aware that those specialised things that they want to use it for may not work as well. And a lot of stuff uh, that's uh, cell phone related is really just chewing up time. You just can't survive without it, really. Realistically, I find the phone I have now harder to use than the first one I had. I kind of wish I could go back to that one just because it was easier to use. You dread to lose it or to not have it. I guess I could really kind of live without it for a while but not forever. Well, that's eight minutes for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with Pear, the new PC set to take a bite out of Apple. Good, Good night. night.